And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world. Let's go. It's the That's Not Christian Dale, Podcast. Dale, dale. Let's go. Now, you had, uh, what was it, a couple months ago? Was it like two months ago? You had uh, put out a tweet about mm. CHH artists being more lyrical than Lecrae. Or that you can right. name uh, right. uh, a bunch of, I, I don't know what you said exactly, but something along can. that line. Yeah. So, um, how did you feel about that? Like that tweet at that moment, was did you... Like after the fact, were you like, ah, maybe I should have never tweeted that? Or were you like, I'm going to stand on that. I, that's how I feel. I'm coming from a, a fan's perspective as well as an artist. Like, what was I the think, thought? I, I think the funny thing about the Christian space that we in is like mad people do not appreciate and value adult energy. Let's call it that. Like right. they, don't, they don't appreciate and value adult energy. And what I mean is like, oh, I said what I said. Like, and then I explained <laughs> what I said. Like right. and people like were intent on misunderstanding what I said. And so they tried to reframe the conversation to make themselves feel better. Like mm. I said, well, what happened is the crew actually asked who's the better rapper, NF or Lecrae. Or he said, uh, is NF a better rapper than Lecrae? And I said, mm. he is. And then somebody eyeballs got big. And they were like, what? No way. And Lecrae had a better, better impact. All this. I was like, yo. That, that, was, that was Jay's burner account. That wasn't the question, though. <laughs> it wasn't the question. Like, right. he asked, is NF the better rapper? And I said, right, yes, right. he did. And then they were like, no way. NF, all he makes is depressed music. And Lecrae's make better albums. I said, yo, check this out. Y'all are not understanding the question, though. Mm -hmm. Like, he said, is he a better rapper? And then somebody responded and said something. And I was like, honestly, I don't think he's a good rapper like that. Like, mm -hmm. and so when I, but then I said, I don't really think NF is either, but I don't think Lecrae is a good rapper like that. Right, now, right. some people took that as a dish, right? And I could see how, right. but I explained and expounded on what I meant by that. I was like, I'm thinking to myself, Missy Elliott is one of my favorite artists. Right. She can't rap like that though. Right. Right. But right. I mean, right. She make dope music. Like I said, Lecrae is the goat. I said he's all of those things. But I said when it comes to rap, they hung on that one thing, right? Yeah. I was like, yeah. I was like, when it comes to rapping, like the skill of rapping. Um. And then I started getting on my soapbox because they kept trying to reframe the convo. I said, <laughs> Yo, check this out. I could name fifty rappers in this space that rap better than him. Like and they were like, no, you can't. I said, I said, bro, I won't even name myself. Mm. Like I'll name fifty. Like right. I named fifty. And people a lot. Being petty. <laughs> like no, I wasn't being petty. I look at it like this. Um, if if you're the if you're the best basketball player in your middle school, does that necessarily mean you're a good basketball player? If you play against people from another school and they smoke y'all though, like it sound cool mm, to be right. dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, Kyle Kuzma has a 40-point game in the NBA, right? Kyle Kuzma has a 40-point game. Andrew Bynum has a 40-point game. Would anybody consider that man one of the best players in the NBA? No, nope. not. <laughs> and that's okay. Like, there are aberrations that exist. You know what I'm saying? Like, things will pop up on the radar and people will be like, yo, that was a cool verse. But right. that don't mean that they're elite at that. Like, and so... That was my thing. I was like, yo, I'm not saying he trash. Right. I just think based on my standard of what good is, not even great, good, he's not there. Right. He's right. not, he's not at that bar. Like he's not, if we're playing a game of pickup ball of the best rappers in the space, and you got 50, 60 people there, he's probably gonna be one of the last picked if if I was the captain. Right, and, right, like, right. I'm not, I'm not saying he can't, you know, what I'm saying rap. But it's like, it's just not, it's not the same. It's just the other people you pre you prefer. Nah, yeah. that's real though, man. That's, that's real. Cause like, like for me, I'm a, I'm a fan of uh, CNN. I'm a fan of Noriega. He's not the best lyricist at all. Yeah. Not, not top 100, not top 200, <laughs> not top 1000. <laughs> but the dude is entertaining to me. You right. know? Hey. 
He and Greg that's okay. Nice. And I said, yeah, Greg Nice. <laughs> I was just trying to tell them. I was like, it's okay. I know that's your favorite rapper. Like, I know he's made a great impact. Amazing. Awesome. That doesn't make him a good rapper, though. Now, do you get DMs from those kind of those yo, kind of? Yo, I got somebody on Instagram. They sent me. I'm a, following. Some dude was like, "Why is why is Lecrae's name in your mouth?" I <laughs> said, "I said, block." Like, <laughs> <laughs> you ain't even respond. <laughs> I said the gift with Matumbo, like blocking. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> like, Yo, and it's not, it's not like, I think he probably makes some of the best music in the space. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's really mm. not a diss. It's just like, if there's a, a list of skill sets, the rapping one is lower than the other ones. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. That's all like. It's like that in the world too. Yeah. yeah people want to hear what they want to hear though. Like, yeah. I, I mean, I'm like, yo, and I did say this though, because I did get a little pride for lying on lie to you. <laughs> um and but I was being dead serious though. Like I want I wasn't I wasn't capping when I said it. I said, yo, I kid you not, bro. If I got if somebody said Lecrae wanted me to rap on the record, that verse would get written in like five minutes. Like, right. but if somebody told me that Black Thought wanted me on the record, like it's gonna take me a little longer, you know what I'm saying? Right, like right. I'm not trying to get smoked, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> understand there's a natural respect that you have for people that are elite at the craft where you're like, yo, I'm not just mailing this in. But I know like if he wanted me on the record and he wanted me to rap, it's like, oh man, this verse is done. Like it's done before. And I know that if if our verses were put next to each other, like anybody who really understands the art form is not going to be right. like, he got you, Jay. No, he didn't. Don't yeah. lie to you. Yeah. <laughs> like that's, that's all. That's all. And it, it also <laughs> seems like the, the fans try to put like this G O M versus reach records. Yeah, What's up with that? Like, Yo, I oh, think that's there's some tension or something. I'm like, I don't see I it. Mean, there. I, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know if it's tension. Um, I mean, they collab. They, they made a song together. Did they? Yeah, Lecrae and Bizzle. Oh, yeah, they, no, that they, don't count. That don't count. They, like, listen, oh, that one don't they, count. How come? That don't. That won't ever count. Like <laughs> as a as a as a fan of the culture. Was oh, was that okay, on Lecrae's okay. album? As a, that won't that's, ever. Us Bizzle. No, that was on Bizzle's album, right? Yeah, it was on Bizzle Giant. And yeah. and go back and listen to that verse. Enough said. I'm not. I'm not gonna say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that don't count. But like, Dayton had uh, some. Dayton had some reach artists on his. Uh, yeah, he had a few in one day. Well, that's what I'm saying. That that that's why I asked about was it on the Crazy album because it's never the other way around. Never, never that, never that. Mm. That is that is a fact. But again. Like I can't put onus on them though. Like if yeah. you don't want to rock with us on the record, you don't want to rock with us on the record. Like yeah, I don't, I don't know the why. Like I said, yeah. I can't make the negative assumption. Right, but right, I, right. I can say we've never been on the record of theirs. Okay. You know, records of ours. So now when you put these tweets out, do you have like a damage control, like a biz, like, yo, what's going on? <laughs> like, don't say that. Yo, uh, you know. <laughs> put your phone down. Nah, well, biz, biz hit me and was like, hey, what's going on? Because he, he, <laughs> he don't got Twitter. Like, he don't have Twitter. Somebody like jacked his Twitter. Like, so he heard about it. And then he was like, so what happened? And I told him, and he was like, ah, man, you got to be more careful out here. Mm. Like, but that's it. Like, it wasn't no. Yeah. No, you I mean, what's done, was, what's done is done already. Apologize. Like, it's like, now I feel like if we had a working business relationship, like me and Cray or the people that reach or something like that had a working relationship, I feel like I would at that point be more inclined to say, yo, y'all, it wasn't that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, right. But. They don't. They don't want. To yeah, I never. I never get the sense that there's anything like any hostility or beef or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, yeah nah. I, I, mean, I, I never. I never got that impression. But yeah. even let's just say, even like on on the hip hop on a rap level, like G O M could hold could hold their weight. You know what I mean? Like everybody's a shooter when it comes to spitting. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to rapping, okay. like everybody could hold their own weight. You know? Yeah, um, I think so too. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think that, that that's a problem. 
at all. Yeah. No. Nah. No. Nah. Not over here. I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, no. Nah. Nah. Maybe that's why they don't want him on the album. <laughs> you can't kill me on my beat. Right. You don't want to <laughs> renegade. It's wild. right. No, nah, I think what it what happened though is I think we just realized that we communicate to two completely different fan bases. Absolutely. Right. I think I think that's really where they may struggle with bringing us on board. Um, is like generally speaking at a GOM show or something like that, the population that comes out to see us looks significantly different than the population that comes out to see them. So mm. like, I feel like there may just be a, well, our they may not like, they may think we may not resonate with their fans in the same way. Like, because mm. their fans are just a different type of fan. It's, it's right. Motown and stacks. No, I was right. I was about to say more like a, uh, 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 that's just my opinion. It's Motown and Stacks. That's what it is. Bad boy and loud. It's like <laughs> right, um, right. It's like Drake and Jeezy. Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> that's what I'm like, saying. Like <laughs> that's why I mean, like you got your bad boy, your shiny suits, but then you got loud with the Wu Tims and all. Like, like the, I feel like the fan base at a Jeezy show would connect with Biz. Yeah. Like, whereas the fan base at a, a Drake show may not. You know yeah, like, but I feel like the fans at a Drake show, they might not, they might think Lecrae a little cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I think it's, I think it's a population dynamic too. Like, they know their numbers, they know their analytics. Yeah, they know what their population yeah. looks like. So, I can't assume why we not on their kind of records. Yeah, yeah. Yo, somebody who's overrated. I mean, underrated. Oh. <laughs> You thought it went over. I was like, okay. under, oh, underrated. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, was, right, right, right. all right. Sorry. <laughs> Is the man we're speaking to right now, the lyrical monster, <laughs> yeah. Garrett, man. So Good you job. you recently uh you recently dropped this project, Black Friday, uh well, right. Mamba Mentality, Black Friday Three, right? Yeah. Um. So yeah, take us through that, man. Take us through what what. What made you go through that process of putting that? Was it like, yo, it's Black Friday. I got to do this every year. Um, I missed y'all last year with it. Like, I didn't do it last year because Hope is Dope too. I thought we was going to drop it on Black Friday last year. But and that um, came out this year in February, right? Yeah, Around that time. Well, January. January. So, like, what happened is like, Biz was like, nah, because we got to shoot videos and stuff like that. So let's just push the project to January. And so I was like, cool. So I missed out on giving people uh, Black Friday 3 at that time. Um, And then I probably was going to let y'all miss out on it this year, too. But what happened is I said, yo, I'm I'm tired of sitting. I dropped the album in January. I feel like rapping again. Um, And so I said, I'm going to just write a song a day for um, 21 days. I think that's what I said, like 14 days, something like that, 14 days. And Aaron Cole was like, make it 30. And I said, oh, like, make a song a day for 30 days. And I was like, cool, I'll do that. Like, and then, so when I did, just, When did you make this decision? Um, The very end of October. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, so wow. recent. recent. Yeah, wow. yeah. So, well, like. You can, you can tell it's recent because some of the references in, in the music. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Like, so I just started writing every day. Uh-huh. Like, and, and I look, when I get into writing mode, I look at it like riding a bike, like, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you may not, you may not hop right back on the bike and be like amazing at it, but eventually you're like, Oh, the muscle memory's back. You know what I'm right. saying? And so for me, inspiration is a muscle. So when I get into like creative mode, I never start cold and then just heat up, you know what I mean? And then I'm just on fire. So ultimately these mixtapes, these like verses and stuff like that is me getting my mind ready to go um to 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 get into album mode so um i i just felt like rapping honestly and uh i started realizing once the material started getting fire i was like oh, i gotta do something with this like you know what I'm saying like i gotta <laughs> i gotta do something with this so black friday is normally like a five song project but um i felt like overdoing it because the lakers won the championship this year <laughs> so right. um congrats so like, to y'all mamba mentality um, and I was like, yo, I'll make it 10 this time. 
you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's all. Like, I just wanted to to rap and do it really, really well. Um, and also, you know, there was that little that little edge from all those people that said, I'm not qualified to speak on the Lecrae rapping. <laughs> <laughs> Some motivation. <laughs> a little bit. Like, I want to <laughs> hold you. Like, for, like, at least of a record, I was like, oh, I'm going to show them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, y'all, y'all think I'm playing around with y'all. Like, so, yeah. You can tell from the wordplay too. Definitely, yeah, definitely I mean, that was, you put some effort like, into it. I was, I was like, nah, I'm, I'm in my bag now. Like, and once you start to see the finish line for me, like I turn all the way up. So like, some of the most lyrical records on there were like some of the last records to be made. Because mm. I, I was like, I'm heating up now. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you, you can see the, you can see the finish line. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. Like, oh, there it is. Like, oh, you know how Steph Curry shoot the three and then turn and start running. Right, right. <laughs> Don't even look. Yo, that's what happened. I was like, I was like okay, back up here. We we in there. <laughs> Let's go play defense now. <laughs> is, is that how you got the correlation with the Mamba mentality as well? Like, yeah, man. Um, I mean, Kobe's my favorite basketball player of all time. So, um, um, period. Like, I don't. I'm I'm not gonna get into the argument of greatest or anything like that. But right. Kobe is my favorite basketball player of all time. Like, Kobe right. was my Michael Jordan. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Um, and the main reason why. I connected with Kobe is like Kobe day in, day out. Like you was going to have to kill him for him not to play. You know what I'm saying? Like right, he got right. a commitment to a, a dog like commitment to excellence. Right. And so when I start to create projects, like I'm competing against myself. You know what mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not, honestly, I'm not thinking about what nobody else is doing. Like I already know that I've set a standard with my ability that the next one has to be better than the one before it. Right. Like, cause, cause I set the bar high. You know what I'm saying? Like, so now it gives me motivation and incentive to be like, okay, we got to do something better than that. Like, and better than that and so on and so forth. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and make the project and, and make it the best black Friday so far. Oh. <laughs> And that um so the, that means the next album got the, the rest of the 20 tracks that you, you wrote. Well I saw I saw um I saw something today <laughs> of, <laughs> I'm not done yet, something I'm like that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. No, I'm not done in 2020. Like oh wow. Christmas album. Oh, wow. Wow. Hey, you got that, we got that exclusive right Whoa. here. You know what I mean? Oh, that part. <laughs> wow. But, but that's that real- Mamba work ethic, man. I was yeah, gonna real. say that um that that Kobe skit was perfect then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kobe Steve yeah. Day skit, you know? Yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm not. Um, that's exactly where it came from. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, I'm not done. Like, um, cause it, cause uh, man, I ain't gonna say too much. But we ain't done. <laughs> I ain't done. Ain't done. Ain't done. All right. um, hey, yo, speaking you- of speaking of Mamba mentality, man, and work ethic, you lost mad weight, bro. Yeah. yeah. Fuck that. yeah. Yeah, 53 pounds, man. Wow. Motivation, yeah. baby. I'm next. Straight up. Huh? Next, you got next? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Is it because of the pandemic or what? What? Talk about it. Now, you know, um, okay, so the funny story is um, I uh, was one day I was getting the kids ready to go to take them to school. I sat down on the landing at the crib. I was putting my shoes on, right? And my stomach was in the way. <laughs> and, don't you um, hate when that happens <laughs> the was in the way bro and i was like oh no we got to do something about this like because i'm i'm just like i'm in the crib but i had to do it my own way though like i had to do like 10 minute workouts every day then move up to 15 minutes and 20 minutes and so on mm-hmm. and so forth like now it's like weird if i don't exercise mm-hmm. like at all like it's, it's very a habit yeah, it's it's such a habit now. Like, so to me, I probably could go unless I actually pick a rest day, which is very rare. Like, even right. my rest days, I do like a recovery workout or something like that, like mm-hmm. the stretch. But um, yeah, I mean, I lost fifty three pounds in like six months. Wow! Wow! Yeah. Yeah, awesome! Since like, since like April, I think that's what it is. Yeah, so well, that, April, that's when you decided, yo, I ain't messing with the dairy and all of that too. 
Now, what's crazy is like I still eat dairy, right? I still eat sweets, I still eat cookies and all that, right? But the but I know <laughs> I know the work that I'm putting in though. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I can actually kind of like for the first, I think two, three weeks, all I drank was water. I didn't eat no breads, no sweets, no mm-hmm. nothing. Like I tried to train myself mm-hmm. to not discipline, do right? Yeah. And then once I did it and was like, oh, I see the work I'm putting in, I know what I'm gonna do. Like then it was like okay you know cookies ain't bad you know what I'm saying and I don't I don't go ham but it'd be some times man that you know that uh club sandwich and Chick Fil A with some cheese on it <laughs> <laughs> set it off you know I mean? <laughs> I, but now like because I'm in a much better shape I feel it immediately mm. you know what I'm like I think that's the real difference like when you start getting in and shape it's like you feel when you're bringing new things into your body that ain't- That open. instinct kicks in, right? Like it's, it's immediate. It's like- yeah. like, you like that. It weighs like you down. Like, stomach, like, burr, 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 burr. like you didn't even finish the sandwich yet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> right. Body's like, bro, hold up. What's going on? <laughs> now, I saw the vid- I saw your, your videos that you've been Been dropping. that, right? And I see- yeah. Well, he dropped a couple. Um, yeah, I right. seen the cuts and all. Yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, this dude's yeah, getting, man, we getting it in, bro. This dude's not playing. So, yeah, I was so, gonna ask: is is the the been that video? Uh, the the been that is is that your like? Is that one of your routines? Oh no, nah, I just did that in the video. That's all that was. But um, no, nah, I mean, I had just finished a program called Six Weeks of the Work, so I was flexing hard, man. Um. That was that was a uh, a cool little program. What's it called? Six weeks of what? Six weeks of the work. Okay. Um, it's on the beach body. Yeah, I gotta get a video ready, huh? Hey, now you know what's crazy. I didn't even think about <laughs> it like that. What's wild though is like I'm still surprised how skinny I am. Mm, right. Yeah. Like, cause you don't necessarily see it yourself first. Right. Like everybody else does. So like when it hit me was when I shot the video for, I don't know. Cause that was the first one we did that day. And mm-hmm. I saw like the, he let me see the playback. And I was like, there was like a wedding pic in there, oh, right? Or something like that. Right? Dude in there. Like, like, in there, like I had that with the joint with the uh, raincoat on with the hoodie on. And so like, when I saw it, I said, yo, who is this skinny dude in this picture? Like, <laughs> I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? Like I wasn't, <laughs> Prior to that, I really wasn't taking a lot of pictures. You know what I'm mm. saying? I just was kind of, I was like, I feel better. I know, I know I look better, but I don't really know how far I've come. Right. And that's why on the Ben That video, he shows a picture of me yeah. when my daughter was born. Oh, that was the pic. Hands over to me now. And I was like, oh. Yeah, you could tell the difference there. That's where I saw it. I was like, well, who's that dude in the pic? <laughs> <laughs> Like I remember that man. I ain't never going back to that dog. <laughs> mm-hmm. So you shot so what, all of them in. Oh my bad, Jay. Go ahead. Man, go ahead. Ask him about the whatever. About no, the I was gonna say, did you shoot all the videos in one day, or it was all in yeah, the crib? Three hours. three hours. Wow. Yeah. We got more videos coming. Look. Yeah. Ask it. Not done in 2020, man. I'm not done. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's he's not done. That's what's up. So, so, um, t- to the weight loss, like, what was it that, that got you to start, you know, like go in, like drink more water, or, like not eating more you cookies. Know, like I, how was it gradually getting, uh, I guess more the exercise or whatever. Yeah. Decision. Oh, or was it something that you, you started researching? Like, yo, I need to change this habit right now. Well, see what I thought is what I thought I could do is like play. And so I did like insanity for like a month <laughs> and I thought I could play. Like, I thought like if I did the workout, I could just eat whatever I wanted again. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Like I worked out for 30 days and I lost one pound. I was tight. That's not like me. All that work. I was like, all this work, all this sweat I'm doing. I know I'm stronger, my cardio good, but I lost one pound. And so what I did, and I don't recommend this for anybody, I said, I'm going to do the insanity program in 30 days. I'm going to do two a days. Wow. I'm going to get up in the morning and do it. That's insanity. The second time in the daytime. Oh, that's right? beyond insanity. Yeah. I wow. said, I'm going to do it. And I was like, I told my wife, I was like, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to watch my diet. 
And for 30 days, I lost. You lost two pounds. Nah, nah. This time <laughs> I lost 31 pounds. Wow. Oh. Pounds in 30 Jeez. days. So wow. like, I got down to like, because I was telling my wife the week uh, at that insanity was about to be over, I was like, I was like, sub 200. I had like pieces of paper that had sub 200 in permanent marker, like everywhere I could see it. I was like, if I wanted to get a snack or a cookie or something, sub 200. Like I was like, I'm going to get under 200 pounds. That was what my goal was. Focus wow. on the goal. I, did, I remember, bro, that morning to the last workout, the last fit test. I was boo-hoo crying on the floor. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, hey that <laughs> <laughs> never could have made oh, it. Bro. I'm listening to worship music like you ain't never heard, bro. Like I got under one, I got the 199.8. I was like, yes. Yeah. And then once I said that, I said, I could do whatever I want to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I said I could do whatever. What about yourself? At the end of the day, you're like yeah, and it it sucks when you in it though. You know what I'm saying like it sucks, but if you just keep coming back, like I don't, I don't. You have to keep coming back, like because your body will respond. Mm. Like now, granted, the life lesson right there. Yeah, like the 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 thing is, what did dude at Vitamin Shop tell uh, tell me and my wife a month ago? He said. Long term consistency trumps short term intensity. Mm-hmm. Like where a lot Harsh. of people fail and stop is because they come in thinking they're gonna get abs after doing 50 crunches. Right. <laughs> Switch. They don't they like I'm done? Like I don't see, I'm sore. I should have abs right now. I'm sore. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and your body doesn't function like that. You know what I'm saying? Like it takes your body time to adjust. So for me, it was doing it when I didn't feel like doing it. Like it was going to the gym when I didn't feel like, you know, it was working out when I didn't want to. Like, and getting midway through the warm up, and then your body's like, okay, we here now, Jay, we ready. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you have to start. You know what I'm saying? Like, and where most people fail is they don't even be starting. Mm, yeah. Well, so what's the what's the regimen now? Oh man, now I do I do one workout a day. I try to eat clean pretty much. Um mm. I'm doing insanity again, just once a day though. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm cooking them workouts. Boy, I'm out here killing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you get you get insanity like at first I was burning like 300 calories in like 40 minutes. I was like, that's pretty good. Now it's like 600 calories and 30, because you're you're able to push more. Right. So like you're able to really see how far you've come, you know what I'm saying? Right. See how quickly it is for your heart rate to level out, for your breathing to regulate. So like, that's where, that's where it's been fun for me though. 